This week we're going to create what I think is real rust. So uh, let's see how that turned out. Look, I think this is real rust. Look, this dresser is still rusting and I love it.
is gorgeous beautiful unique old antique gorgeous piece of furniture but this dresser was completely falling apart we bought it and we didn't even know that was in this like terrible shape the top was completely falling apart and the one drawer when I took out to clean uh, broke in my hands into like five pieces I wanted to like give some rust and age to this piece because what that's what it deserves it's really old that was one idea the other idea i wanted green because in my office this piece is going to my office my office i walk into my office everything is gray and i was like what is happening here like a gray 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 no i need some color and i need some dramatic and i need some like like something like strong as this piece follow me on instagram so you can see uh, the pictures i'm going to post of this piece in my office that's for instagram furniture advertising okay so now i can continue i had idea in my head and i was like okay let's put all this together i painted everything because when you're using patina collection first you need to paint everything and you need to have that solid color after that i went over and i added uh iron uh, from patina collection and I went heavy like on top and the, the, the top drawers I went really really heavy because I was like I'm just gonna create as much as rust I can and then I'm going to play with it and like add more green wherever I want because you know it's easy to add paint but it's not easy to create rust it, it's a process a read instruction instructions say that the to leave the spray to work the, the chemical reaction it takes Four, uh, four to six hours then I see youtubers because I YouTube as well as you guys it says to youtubers says 24 hours so I just left it overnight I left it for 24 hours I use Dixie Belt uh, Dixie Belt gilding wax and I love it it's such a vibrant like gold color it look great the reason I use a uh, coffee bean I put coffee bean uh, Dixie Bell paint on the hardware is because you want strong, uh, you want darker color when you're putting like gilding wax on top of that. It's just going to look nicer. When I was happy with everything, I got gator hide. You have to use either top coat or gator hide to stop the reaction of a patina collection of patina. You can see here these drips that happen after gator hide was applied that over here too all that this all that happened after gator hide so i totally love it the way it is now so it came out perfect right i think it came out perfect i hope you guys like i know this is not for everybody i know it's strong i know it has so much character but you know i love it and uh, i maybe somebody else love it and if you want to try patina collection i encourage you to do it's really fun you can try on something small you don't have to try on a big piece of furniture but it's 
really 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 fun you don't know what you're gonna get with that like you're gonna get trust but where and how much and how it's going to look <laughs> you don't know that so I love that it's like exciting you know this is also our last piece of the year uh, this is last video of the year I wanted to say thank you guys I'm so grateful I'm so thankful to all of you guys this was a great year. I think 2020 is going to be even better. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave a comment below. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I hope to see you next week. Thank you guys. Bye bye.